What's up guys, welcome to the Nartico Show. I'll be your host today, my name is Nartico. You guys, you'll be the audience, so uh, let's get started. Uh, today we're going to be watching some free-for-all on Underground, Modern Warfare 3 style. Um, we're going to be playing uh, with D G36C, Red Dot, um, with the kick mod on it. And uh, the specialist kills, kills uh, uh, what's it called, uh, strike, kill... What's it called? Strike Package. Um, we're going to be playing with the Specialist Strike Package, which is the first time I play with the Specialist Strike Package. This specifically isn't the first game, but this is the first uh, experience. Today was the first experience with it that I've had, and uh, I'm actually level... Uh, I'm like first prestige level 40-something, so it's really bad. Um, but the, my whole first prestige I put on support, and I never took it off. I really liked support. I liked that I could die and uh, keep my kill streaks. but with... Specialist, what it does is uh, it allows you to gradually build up perks. Um, so you can you have your main three perks. Um, I think I'm using Scavenger Pro, Hardline, and uh, Stalker Pro um, for my main three. And then as you get kills, you actually gain perks. So my first kill, my first kill because I have Hardline instead of two kills is Quick Draw Pro. Allows me to pull my uh, pull my reticle up faster, get more kills. My second kill is Sleight of Hand. allows me to reload faster, stay alive a little bit better. And my third kill, um, my third kill streak perk, I don't know how you want to, my third specialist perk is Assassin Pro. Now, I have, I have been ragging on Assassin Pro, but I think if you earn it, it's different than if you put it on and use it to camp. Now, uh, with that said, I do patrol this area a lot, a lot in this game. So whether you count patrolling as camping, that's up to you. That's uh, completely your distinction. But I do not count camping and uh, patrolling as the same thing. Uh, let me explain what patrolling is. It's moving uh, in a in a motion that allows for a spawn trap on either side of the player. Um, like I'll look over here down this hall and then I'll move back to the buses and then I'll come back to the down the hall and then I'll move back to the buses and I'll get a kill on either end and then I'll just move back to the other end because I know somebody's going to be coming up. Now that's not camping to me. Some people would say that I'm camping this part of the map uh, but camping to me is sitting in a corner or um, sitting in a very small area excuse me my voice cracked sitting in a very small area like uh, one room. Um, what I'm doing here is not camping as far as I define it. Now, whether you define it as camping or not, that's a different story and uh, it can be debated and uh, we can talk about it all day, but uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is I get a Moab at the end of this game and uh, for those of you who don't know, that's the Modern Warfare 3 nuke. Um, it's not really a nuke. What it does is it kills all the players that are alive on the map. It jams them with a UAV, or not a UAV, an EMP, and it gives you an advanced UAV. I'm not sure how long the advanced UAV lasts, but um, you don't get to see any of that residual stuff because it ends the game in free-for-all uh, most of the time. Because when you get it, it's 25 kills with your gun. With your gun only, so grenades don't count. Uh, or maybe grenades count. Maybe not, though. Um, either way, 25 kills with your gun. Um, and you know your kill streaks don't count. So if you get a, a chopper and you get you know 100 kills with the chopper, it's not going to give you Moab. Um, everybody has it. Every game, you know, everybody everybody plays with the Moab on. Uh, there's no turning that off. There's no turning it on. You don't need to be running any special strike package. You can do it with any strike package. Um, and uh, the the host migrates right here, so you're going to see a little skip. There you go. Um, but Anyway, the the Moab acts like a nuke in Modern Warfare 2. It slows the screen down. It, it does everything that the nuke does except ends the game. Uh, it does not. The Moab does not does not end the game. Um, and that's that, I think that's good because if you if you're running uh, a successful a successful uh, game and and you get the Moab. Then you get that EMP and you get the the uh, advanced UAV and it really helps you out a lot. But if you're losing, like say you're playing domination and you've just been camping for your Moab and you know 
that's it, that was the debate on Modern Warfare 2. You know, people camping for their nukes or or boosting for them to end the game. Um, if your if your team isn't doing well on domination and and you happen to get a Moab because you've been camping and and you kill everybody, but you know it doesn't it doesn't really turn the tide of the game. I mean, it helps. It gives you a little bit of uh, motivation to play a little bit harder. Uh, somebody on your team's doing well, but uh, it doesn't really just end the game, and it can't it can't turn a, a losing a losing game into a winning game instantly, unless you're playing something like uh, Team Deathmatch or not free for all, obviously. But uh, at the end of this right here, I was uh, I was winning. The guy that was in second left, so it's actually it'll be end up being 1350 to zero right here, and uh, that's it. That's the Moab. And uh, you'll see people, three. I think I get three kills here, and uh, that's the end of the game. So if you like this, please leave a like. If you want to comment, tell me what I what I said wrong. I know I said something wrong. If I said something wrong, comment and tell me. Uh, if you, you know, if, if you like this stuff, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I love you guys. I will, uh, I'll see you in the next TNS.